Jeanette Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today we are making Halloween clusters. So if you're not familiar with the paper perks, then this is paper perk number 9. You go ahead and download it from the Facebook group. There is a link in the description under the video. I'm going to cut everything and then be back. Okay, so I have cut everything. It took a while but it is worth it so what I'm what I like to do is put aside all the images and then on one side all the let's call them backgrounds or layers I also like to bring in my foam tape and my distress ink and then start first I want to make layers and then with the different sizes and then embellish them so to speak so I'm going to start with the larger ones and just arrange them and see basically what fits with what These are smaller ones. Okay, so these are the larger ones. Maybe this one as well. And then we can start matching. I'm not gluing anything. I'm just matching things. Maybe this one will go on its own. And then once I'm happy, I can go ahead and start gluing. For example, this one and this one is really cool, but it is too dark. So I might add something like this to make it a little don't want to cover things. pretty cool. Of course you can print this as many times as you want and then just have you can use this as is. It doesn't have to go on something but it can if you want. So let's see where all the creepy crawlers are going to go. So there are a few bones here. Maybe this one can go here as well. So I think you get the idea of how to work this. This one can go on its head or not. You might need more if, for example, you have embellishments. You might want. I obviously printed more than one page because I knew I would need more. Can mix and match there are almost infinite number of possibilities for for this you can just go on and on like this hand with the Do we need another one? I think so. So you see how many clusters you can make? Really the number is infinite. Almost. I can say. 
different sizes. doesn't really have to be to make any sense. You can even use paper scraps from your tea dye papers or something. And then you can make as many clusters as you need or want. Like this screamy guy here. So I'm going to attach these and come back and show you how it looks. Some of these I'm going to attach with my foam tape, especially for example, this, the bottom layers and then maybe some of the embellishments. Okay, so let's start attaching. I like to add dimension. I think it's really adds to. So some I attach with foam tape and some you see it looks it gives it a dimension that I really like so I'm going to attach a few more and then be back okay so here are all the finished clusters some with foam tape you can see It makes them dimensional and a lot more fun. And so now you can go ahead and embellish anything that you want. Cards, junk journal, scrapbooks, mini album, photo frames, party invites, whatever you want. And of course you can make many, many more. You can make them bigger by attaching two together, for example like this and this can be like a large cluster if you add for example so you can mix and match anything you can add this here you can add this here again the options are really limitless. This <clears throat> can go with this. Anything that you want can almost go with anything. Okay, so I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video to my channel so you'll be able to uh, be notified when I upload a new video. And you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects. Go to the Paper Perk Facebook group. There is a link in the description under the video to grab all the printables that I show you here, especially this one. This is a really fun one for Halloween clusters. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time.